Along with the elections bill, State Senator Brian Hughes also wrote the state's heartbeat bill, which the governor signed and will take effect September 1st. Planned Parenthood and a handful of other groups have sued and named District Court Judge Austin Reeve Jackson as one of the defendants. I asked Senator Hughes about the lawsuit. When you and I talked during the session, you mentioned that heartbeat bills like yours have often been challenged. Yes. Some of them in other states have been overturned. <clears throat> Are you surprised to see Planned Parenthood and these other groups filing a suit against what was the So challenging a lawsuit is one thing. Filing a lawsuit against Judge Jackson and every judge in Texas is an extreme move. It's a desperate move. It shows they don't like this law. This law is going to protect little unborn babies. They don't like that, so they're doing everything they can do to stop it. We believe the court system is going to work, the Constitution is going to work like it's supposed to, and this law is going to be upheld and it's going to take effect and save little lives. You say the law will save lives. Do you ultimately believe that it would stop a mother who is seeking an abortion from having one, perhaps in a less safe environment? So this bill is aimed at the little baby in her mother's womb when a heartbeat is present. That heartbeat is the universal sign of life. The science tells us that. Our hearts tell us that, if you will. Think about your mother's heartbeat. Think about the, a loved one uh, in the hospital and that heart monitors. When that heartbeat is present, everybody gets it. That's a human life deserving of protection. Uh, we're here at a crisis pregnancy center today where they do wonderful work, where they come alongside these women and encourage them and give them tangible help, give them resources that they, that they need. In Texas, we are doubling funding every year to help mothers in those situations. We're going to help and love and respect those mothers while we save those little unborn babies. We can do both, and that's what we're going to do in Texas. Given the unusual nature of this special session, you've had a little bit more time on your hands than you might normally when you're down in Austin. Have there been other things that you've been able to do while you've been there to help the folks in District 2 that you might not normally get the chance to do? I've had some great opportunities. In fact, I've been able to meet with uh, and connect with state legislators from other states who are working on election security, election accessibility, to compare notes. Also, uh, with a number of legislat legislatures around the country uh, are considering uh, bills to protect free speech online. So we've been able to compare notes, look at ideas, look at the best approaches. So it's been good. So much of what Texas is doing is having an effect on other states. We're also learning from other states. So it, it's been a profitable time.